G'day, Josh from the Automotive Clinic. All right, now we are at another Honda Civic Hybrid. This one's a newer one than the last one we did a video on. We're actually going to be replacing the motor power inverter in this. Um, or originally, but we're going to actually send the old one off for testing first. Um, if Injectronics can do anything with that, if not, we're going to replace it. So what we've got here is we've got the whole back seat out. Um, this system's disarmed at the moment. I'm going to show you how to do that quickly. You do that before you take the battery cover plate off here. We're going to check for voltage. We've got all the safety equipment hooked up. Um, the area is all taped off as well, so no one can get close. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be stripping this whole assembly here. So our battery is from where that styrofoam is back here. We're going to take all of this out. Um, all this harness and everything has to unpick. Most of it comes with. Um, we'll remove these four main bolts here, one, two, three, four, and then lift this whole assembly here forward and out. Um, that can then get stripped down. This is our hybrid control module. Oh, sorry, that's our hybrid control module. That's our, um, that's our actually DC, DC inverter, hybrid control module. That's our aircon control module as well. Um, so we're gonna get all that stripped out and go from there. But first up, we'll show you how to make sure this is disarmed. Now, the switch off is up here. So our switch is disarmed and what I'll do is I'll put the gloves on and I'll show you the difference when it is disarmed and when it isn't. Um, you have to give it at least 15 minutes after disarming as well to make sure that all the capacitors have died down and everything is safe. So I'll come back and I'll show you that. All right, so at this stage, this hybrid battery is not disarmed. Um, I'll just show you that we've got the meter hooked up there. I'll just press that screen button so as you can see we've got if I touch that positive lead to our positive terminal of our hybrid battery we're at 150 volts so this system is not safe now I'll show you why you've got to disarm and let it sit for 15 minutes so if we disarm that now I'll come back quick all right we've just disarmed that system as you can see we will still have voltage on there and that's all the capacitors dying down so we're going to let this sit we're going to walk away for 15 minutes, come back once that's fully disarmed and then we're safe to work on this system. Obviously you've got high voltage gloves on when we do that to make sure it's all safe and we will go from there. All right, one last check to make sure the capacitors have died down. It's been a long time since we disconnected everything. We've got no voltage. We are safe to work. All righty, there we go. There's our unit, that's out. Now, there's half your problem there. Um, a lot of the time on these Hondas, as with all hybrid and electric vehicles, cooling is a major, major part of battery health and things like that, why these units fail. Those fans block up and are very problematic, so they always get replaced whenever any of this does, so we'll be getting that out later. For now, we'll have another video coming out on stripping this down on the bench and getting to the MPI, which is right at the back. So that's it, that's out, four bolts, all the plugs, wires and everything, and we're good to go.